What you see here are some of the scariest crocodile animatronics in the world. Today you ranked 14 sub-mechanophobia inducing alligators. I'm Walt, the animatronic duck. And today I'm channeling Steve Irwin to talk about these animatronic crocs. Here's Will Engel to tell you all about them. From giant movie nightmares to some terrifying theme park alligators. There are many more alligators to cover. Leave a comment saying part two if you want a sequel. Wooly Bill, Cleveland Zoo. This creature is a familiar sight in the submechanophobia community, but surprisingly, it's at the bottom of our list this time. And if you ever want to visit this submechanophobia nightmare, you need to go to the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. This zoo has endless exhibits and animals, including the Yaga Tree, a 55-foot simulated Australian baobab tree, and virtual Aussie playground. And in this family-friendly area, you can find many features, like a very cool snake-shaped slide. But what stands out the most is a cavern where the famous Woolly Bill is located. Woolly Bill is a submerged crocodile that can be found lurking in the murky waters of this cave. Here he sometimes surfaces, moving his head and startling visitors. A while ago, Woolly Bill gave us quite a scare when he disappeared from the exhibit for an extended period during the Yaga Tree renovations. Many people thought that he had been removed forever. But thankfully, on June 2nd, 2023, Wooly Bill made his triumphant comeback to the zoo. So we can all rest easy now, knowing that he will continue to frighten visitors for many years to come. Warning, if you don't like the video and subscribe, these animatronics will appear the next time you go swimming. Don't say we didn't warn you. Crocodiles, Pirate Boats, Legoland. Legoland Billen Resort is the original Legoland Park, and it opened back in 1968 in Billen, Denmark. The park is actually located next to the original Lego factory, and since it opened, the park has added many original lands and rides. The park is now divided into nine themed areas, one of them is Pirate Land. Pirate Land is a pirate themed area that has several attractions, like Pirate Splash Battle, Pirate Wave Breaker, and Pirate Boats. And in this last one is where we find the main attractions, at least for this video's purpose. This dark ride was built by Mack Rides, and it opened in 1991. As described by Legoland, Pirate Boats is a ride where you can sail inside the secret cave, where crocodiles, festive pirates, and the secret treasure lie hidden in the darkness. The boat trip takes you past shipwrecked pirates, dangerous crocodiles, and hungry sharks all built out of hundreds and thousands of harmless Lego bricks. But for people with submechanophobia, these creatures don't seem so harmless. Beginning with the sharks at the start of the ride. But this is a crocodile exclusive video, so we'll leave them for another video. Let's look at these crocs instead. Our first encounter is with a pirate, hanging from a bridge and wiggling his legs as a crocodile tries to bite him. The croc is partially submerged and moves up and down, opening and closing its jaws as if trying to reach the pirate. There are also two other crocodiles nearby. We see one of them as soon as we pass through the bridge, and this one also opens and closes its mouth, and it is seen surrounded by submerged rocks, which makes the sight pretty chilling. Then there's another one, getting out of the water very close to another pirate. Then inside the cave, there is a baby croc, which is not scary at all, but pretty cute, so we didn't want to miss the opportunity of mentioning it. Abandoned Crocodiles, Nara Dreamland. This park has been harshly criticized by other YouTubers, and we've already discussed this in a previous video, which we'll link in the description. But here's a summary for you. Labeling Nara Dreamland merely as a Disneyland imitation is unjust, disregarding creator Kunzio Matsuo's dreams and aspirations. The park's history is intricate, with multiple accounts of its origin. Contrary to claims, Matsuo didn't simply mimic Disneyland. His project initially had Disney's nod. The collaboration aimed to establish Disneyland in Nara, but faltered due to licensing disagreements. Inspired by Disney, Matsuo intended to create a unique Japanese amusement park with Disney's guidance, not a replica. Despite utilizing Disney-inspired designs, when Disney withheld character rights, Matsuo rebranded the park to Nara Dreamland. The park, mirroring Disneyland's features, opened in 1961, becoming Japan's closest Disneyland counterpart, drawing significant crowds until Tokyo Disneyland's inception in 1983 led to its decline. After years of dwindling attendance and neglect, 
The park closed in 2006, remaining abandoned for many years, eventually demolished in 2017. One of the attractions that Nara Dreamland took inspiration from was the Jungle Cruise. This attraction was practically identical to the one at Disneyland, from the boats to the animatronics. The ride featured many animatronic animals, such as this beautiful peacock or these tigers, and even pythons. But obviously, submerged and semi-submerged animals couldn't be missing. Take this terrifying hippopotamus, and of course, crocodiles. The ride featured several submerged crocodiles, others semi-submerged, some that popped out of the water unexpectedly, and especially the worst of all in our opinion, this animated prop that had a mechanism that made it spin in the water, creating a truly grotesque sight. And to make this scene even worse, behind it, another crocodile rising above the water. The semi-realistic appearances of these crocodiles make some worthy candidates for this list. But that's not all. The terrifying part of these animatronics was when they were abandoned. For years, they were deteriorating and rotting in the water. Seeing these animatronics with so much decay is a pity and gives another sense to the attraction, a truly terrifying one. Seeing the boats full of rust makes you think of all the tourists they once carried, those animatronics full of movement now totally corroded and with exposed mechanisms covered in mold. A sad reminder that sometimes dreams can turn into nightmares. Tick Tock Croc, Fantasmic. When we first made our Disney Submechanophobia video, we were very surprised to see that this friendly crocodile was mentioned by many people as a scary sight to see. And now, we're mentioning it once more. Because after all, he is a crocodile. In 2008, Fantasmic received an overhaul. This time, the three original 70mm projectors were replaced with high-definition digital projectors. The animation also received a new digital transfer, and the Peter Pan sequence was given a new mechanical TikTok crocodile. Before this overhaul, TikTok appeared in the Peter Pan sequence, but this version was more like a big crocodile prop that followed the ship and had limited movement. The new TikTok was so much better. This new mechanical barge had light up eyes and moving limbs and tail. This gave the character a sense of being alive and made it a character in the scene, not a prop following a ship as it was before. But many of us know Fantasmic has had lots of refurbishments and renovations. And the last of these refurbishments was in 2016. This time, the Peter Pan sequence was sadly removed and replaced by a Pirates of the Caribbean scene. That means that TikTok the Crocodile was completely retired. There were various rumors that said that the crocodile was removed after the tragic accident that happened at Walt Disney World in 2016, but this is not true. This was one of our favorite Fantasmic sequences, and we were so sad to see it go. But we have great news for any other fans of the Peter Pan sequence. With the recent tragedy of Murphy catching on fire, Fantasmic had to close completely. If you want to learn more about what happened, watch this video. But back to Fantasmic, the show was closed, but back in 2023, Disney announced that Fantasmic would return in May 2024 with new special effects and a thrilling new battle scene between Sorcerer Mickey and Maleficent. And with this, they also announced that the Peter Pan sequence will be coming back. We couldn't be happier with this news, even if we are a bit worried about how they will handle the new battle scene. We just hope that the Maleficent dragon will come back at a later date. But for now, we're happy to have TikTok back. MCS Dino Crocodile We've already talked about Chinese companies responsible for making impressive animatronics at accessible prices, such as Gengu Animatronics or Only Dinosaurs. But there's another company called MCS Dino. This company specializes in creating all kinds of creatures for amusement parks and shows. They've been able to create everything from puppets and floats to incredible costumes like this Brachiosaurus or this Tauntaun. However, their most specialized area is the creation of animatronic creatures. MCS Dino are capable of making extinct animals like dinosaurs, giant insects, and mammoths. But what we're featuring them for today is this gigantic crocodile designed to be submerged underwater. The crocodile can be activated by remote control or a motion sensor. With a simple click, the crocodile shoots out from the rail and, with a powerful bite, devours its prey. Is that the bite of 24? Sorry friends, you know I had to do it. Please continue, Will. Now, MCS Dino has a slightly different process for creating animatronics compared to other animatronic companies. They sculpt their animatronics from large blocks of foam rubber. 
and have a special framework cage system for the animatronic mechanisms. These animatronics can use pneumatic systems, or they can be equipped with an electric system with servos. It's a completely handmade and artisanal process, from the insertion of the texture and skin to the fur of the animals. If you happen to have an extra $9,500 lying around, you too can have your own submechanophobia inducing beast in your home, as MCS Dino ships worldwide. Would you order one? Lunar Park, Giant Crocodile. Lunar Park has quite a peculiar history. It's the oldest park in all of Italy, opening its doors in 1953 with various attractions, including the Mine Train Ride. This attraction was a favorite among guests because it featured large scenic props and this terrifying animatronic at the center of the coaster. The animatronic was designed to unexpectedly emerge from the small body of water at the center of the roller coaster. It was truly giant and had an incredible design, in our opinion. Additionally, it was capable of spraying water. Unfortunately, in 2008, the park had to close because it needed to be modernized and adopt new safety measures for its visitors. However, due to various circumstances, the park was abandoned for eight years. All the rides were closed, and obviously, this animatronic and the ride were left severely deteriorated. After much effort, the park managed to reopen in 2016 with new rides and some classic attractions completely modernized. Unfortunately, our friend the crocodile was missing. No one knows who built this animatronic, and even worse, where such a colossal creation ended up. It's a real shame because this ride looked fantastic. Jumanji Crocodile This fits perfectly on the list because if you have watched the original 1995 Jumanji film, then you already know that crocodiles are one of the biggest dangers in the movie. And if you haven't watched it, then you should. This animatronic crocodile was created by Studio ADI, which is an American special effects company. One of their specialties is animatronics, and they have become one of Hollywood's go-to studios for animatronics. Having created some of the most famous animatronics in the industry, the Jumanji Crocodile being one of them, a true accomplishment. This is one of the most realistic animatronics we have ever come across. At 750 pounds, this thing was a beast. It is 15 feet long, and you will never believe this, but it can swim. We are pretty sure that if we ever came across this animatronic in a lake, we would run for our life. Better not to take any chances though, right? The best feature of this animatronic was that it was actually made to ride. There is, in fact, a lot of footage of people doing just that. A mini scary ride. Apart from this, the animatronic crocodile has eyes that move. It has a body that was made to mimic actual crocodiles. This is one scary croc. It probably won't eat you, although we make no promises. Alligator, Ramon. As we've said countless times, we love when movies use animatronics to bring their characters and creatures to life. And in the 1980 horror movie Alligator, we were treated to some of the most impressive animatronic effects of its time. The animatronic alligator, nicknamed Ramon on set, was impressively massive and was controlled by a team of puppeteers manipulating wires, rods, and levers connected to the various motors and gears inside. The alligator measured over 20 feet long and weighed over 1,200 pounds. The creation of this animatronic alligator was a complex and challenging process. The team had to build the alligator in sections, starting with the head and then moving on to the body, tail, and legs. Next, they used a combination of foam rubber, latex, and fiberglass to create the alligator's skin, and then added layers of paint and detailed textures to make it look as realistic as possible. The team also had to pay close attention to the alligator's movements, as they wanted to make sure that it would be able to perform a wide range of actions on screen, from crawling through the sewers to lurching through the city streets. To achieve this, the team used a combination of mechanical and hydraulic systems to control the alligator's movements, and filmed live alligators as references for the animatronic's movements. This animatronic was an incredible feat of engineering and special effects, and it remains an iconic part of the film to this day. For people with submechanophobia, the animatronic alligator is definitely a scary sight to see, but for all of us, it's a masterpiece of movie magic. Living with the Land Alligators Living with the Land is one of our favorite attractions. It's relaxing, educational, and on top of that, it includes a small dark ride within the boat tour. 
Did you know that all the things grown in the greenhouses are used within the park and restaurants, like Sunshine Seasons or Garden Grill Restaurant? In the first section of the ride, we can see three biomes representing the tropical rainforest, desert, and American prairie. Rumor has it that the animatronics in this section were originally intended for the never-built attraction, Western River Expedition. Among these animatronics are the simple yet realistic crocodiles. These crocodiles are divided on the left and right sides of the boat. On the left side, we can see a crocodile out of the water and another semi-submerged. But the most terrifying animatronics are on the right side and can be easily overlooked because the waterfall obscures them a bit. However, our friend Peter from Theme Park Crazy managed to capture them in his Submechanophobia videos. If you enjoy dark rides, roller coasters, and animatronics, be sure to subscribe to his channel. These animatronics are very close to the boat and submerge completely, which makes them a real nightmare for many. However, they are not at the top of our list, so what do you think? Are they correctly positioned or not? Mildred the Crocklebog Mildred the Crocklebog is the cutest contender on the list, at least for us. Not only because of her appearance, but also because of her cute lore. If you also think Mildred is the cutest crocobog in the world, leave a croc emoji. Mildred is located in Bewilderwood, an adventure park in the ancient village of Horning in the English county of Norfolk. This park features various activities and attractions, including the Bewilder Boat Rides, where we can witness the adventures of Swampy the Marsh Boggle. This swamp is full of characters and lore, but undoubtedly, everyone's favorite is Mildred the Crocklebog. Mildred has caused quite a stir in the submechanophobia community because many consider her too cute to be scary. However, for others, her texture and those giant eyes in the lake trigger a sensation of terror. But what is Mildred's story? Luckily, our subscriber Anne, or Wonderwolf101, who works at Bewilderwood, contacted us and told us all about Mildred. So, special thanks to her. And remember, if you want to talk to us, send us recommendations, or share a malfunction or funny video, you can reach us on our Instagram. There have been videos where Mildred can be seen swimming through the water, but this is only Mildred being pulled by the lake in a boat when they need to take her out for cleaning and maintenance. Mildred also has a charming puppet version. Mildred is adorable, but you will place this crocklebog in the top five of the scariest on the list, which we find a bit surprising because she's above Ramon, who literally eats humans while Mildred is a vegetarian. Sometimes it's a bit strange how you all vote, but we say this with all the love in the world. Now, get ready for the most terrifying ones. Lake Placid Crocodile. We've talked about this animatronic several times, but it's so terrifying, and of course a crocodile animatronic, so it had to be on the list. This crocodile was created by the super famous and talented team at Stan Winston Studios, solely for the purpose of losing it for the Lake Placid movie. The biggest challenge with this animatronic is what brings all of you here today. The animatronic had to be submerged in the water all the time. But being as talented as the team in the studio is, they made it work and created a full-sized animatronic puppet, complete with moving head and tail and snapping jaws. They would function underwater. The stuff of nightmares. To give you an idea of how big and terrifying this thing was, the largest crocodile in captivity back in 2013 measured a little more than 20 feet. The Lake Placid crocodile was well over twice as long as that. To create it, the team first made a small-scale model that would serve as the guideline for the full-size build. The crocodile was mechanized through hydraulics, which, as had been learned on previous projects, worked fairly well in a water environment, as long as they were protected in waterproof housings and surrounded by a water-resistant skin. Now, before finishing the animatronic and doing a whole paint job, the crew took it to Castiac Lake in Los Angeles National Forest to test it. Imagine running into that thing when they were testing it. The team dropped it in the lake to confirm that the animatronic worked well underwater, and it swam as they needed it to. And of course, it moved perfectly and even propelled itself. As soon as they knew this nightmare fuel worked, they took it back to the studio, finished adding lots of paint details and textured so the animatronic would look as real as humanly possible. They fixed some small problems and the croc was ready to go. While they were filming, the crew attached the crocodile to a boat using a wire so it could gain greater speed and the animatronic was a success. 
It must have been terrifying for the actors to be swimming in the lake, being chased and attacked by this thing. A huge animatronic crocodile swimming in a real lake attacking us? No thank you. We asked the experts from Stan Winston Studios what happened to the animatronic after they were done with it, and they said that, sadly, it was eventually dismantled, as it was just too large to store and no longer operational. But at least we can see it in action. Pirates in Batavia, Crocodile. We've talked about this ride before on this channel. You can find it in Europa Park, one of the best theme parks in all of Europe. And one of the most beloved attractions in this park is, of course, Pirates in Batavia, which opened back in 1978. This seven-minute boat ride transported guests through the exotic East Indian seaport of Batavia, located in the park's Netherlands section. The ride operated perfectly for 30 years until May 26, 2018, when, sadly, a small fire broke out in a warehouse in the Netherlands section and quickly grew out of control, causing a fireball to spread toward the pirate's ride. The attraction was soon engulfed in incandescent flames and thick smoke, and it burnt the whole ride to the ground. Thankfully, the Mack family decided they would rebuild it. And so the ride reopened in July 2020, and it looks so much better than before, with an updated storyline, a new ride system, and state-of-the-art animatronics, crafted by Garner Holt Productions, Life Formations, and Hoffman. With all of this came new scenes, and one of these is where we find our crocodile. The boat goes through a thunderstorm that takes us to a drop, and right after this drop, we begin the ride. We arrive at a shipwreckage, which is fantastic. The props paired with the huge screen in the back works perfectly to make this look fantastic, but the main thing of this scene, for this video, is the crocodile. We see a pirate standing at the bow, looking at another pirate who is hanging by his foot, and near the hanging pirate, we see the crocodile, very close to him, waiting to get a bite. This is particularly scary because, after all, that pirate is probably seconds away from being eaten by the crocodile. And while the croc's movements are not many, the way its mouth opens and closes is pretty creepy. The new version of this ride is fantastic, and we're so happy the park rebuilt it. Gondwana, Das Prehistoria. Now we've arrived at the second crocodile on our list. Also in Germany, specifically in Schiffweiler, where we can find the incredible Gondwana, Das Prehistorium Museum. This museum combines the fun and technology of a prehistoric theme park with the education and history provided by a museum. One of the premises of this museum is to tell 4.6 billion years of Earth history in one museum, all thanks to an immersive experience filled with exhibitions full of special effects, and best of all, animatronics. In the museum, we can see various dinosaur animatronics like Compsognathus or the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Additionally, this museum features an incredible animatronic show, where, thanks to its mechanisms, it appears that the dinosaurs are walking on stage. But what brings us here is this prehistoric crocodile. These crocodiles are ancestors of the Nile crocodiles, and were found in the Gondwana region. In the display, we can see the crocodile semi-submerged in water with a swampy environment with rather eerie lighting. The crocodile can move all of its limbs and threaten the visitor surrounding it with its powerful jaws. The crocodile was built by the Japanese company Kokoro, which specializes in creating animatronics for various exhibitions. They are known for their work in the Natural History Museums of London, the dinosaur exhibits at Dinopolis in Spain, among others. A curious fact is that this company is part of the Sanrio Group, the creators of Hello Kitty. So, the Sanrio group can create characters as cute as Hello Kitty, or submechanophobia nightmares like this prehistoric crocodile. Roaring Rapids, Croc. Shanghai Disneyland is one of the most technologically advanced parks in the world. Almost every ride is filled with lots of technological marvels. And that's the case with Roaring Rapids. Roaring Rapids is a wild, out of control ride that ends with an encounter with a mythological mountain guardian. In this ride, we set out to find the source of the mysterious, echoing roars that can be heard behind the falls in Abutaku Mountain. The ancient Arbori people say that the source is the ancient crocodile guardian Croc, who protects the waterways from those who would do Adventure Isle harm. But the League of Adventurers say that this is all mythological nonsense. So we go explore, and as you might expect, it is not. While we're on this expedition, a fallen tree diverts the river into a collapsed lava tube. 
where one of the most impressive and astounding animatronics ever lies in wait. As the raft drifts into its rocky chamber, it turns to assess the noise, its glowing eyes narrowing in rage. The Guardian huffs and sniffs, then thrusts itself forward, ambushing us as the raft drifts helplessly closer, close enough to feel its misty, humid breath. We have to duck wildly as the crocodilian snaps foot-long, razor-sharp teeth. Naturally, we manage to just barely escape the creature's jaws as the raft races down a lava tube and into the geyser springs in the mountain's shadow. The animatronic is really impressive because of its size and movement, and even though its appearance is short, it's pretty scary. So it's no wonder that you guys voted it first on the list. Did you enjoy the video? Consider subscribing, and even better, becoming a member or Patreon. You have no idea how much that helps us create more videos. Plus, you'll get access to posts and soon exclusive Q&A shorts with me. Links in the description and pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching the video.